Welcome back to the Good Old Boys channel. Today we're going to be talking about this wood stove that I made. Alrighty, so I'm going to make this pretty simple and quick. Basically, I've got a 30 pound uh, propane tank that I made a wood stove out of. So as I said before, it's a 30 pound propane tank. The first thing you need to do is remove the valve, which I did that off the camera. Then you need to burn the extra gas out, which I show you a little bit here. Um, really you need to have it turned upside down. You need to do this before you cut the top of the tank off. Um, the next thing was I bought a cast iron clean out door um, and I bought angle iron to kind of mount it to, which you'll kind of see how it all works out. I made a square out of the angle iron and uh, I just wanted a cast iron door, so that's why I got the clean out door. So after I got the gas all out of the tank, I cut the handles off, then I cut the hole for the square that I made out of angle iron, and I welded angle iron to the tank. Now the holes um, on the back of the angle iron, like behind it, once I welded it to the tank, you can see I, I put a little uh, triangle of steel there, that worked out pretty well. Uh, then I cut the legs out, and then I welded the legs to the tank with braces, as you can see. And I bolted on the cast iron door after that. Then I used washers for the feet of the stove, and then I welded a 3-inch inner diameter steel pipe uh, to the stove, which worked out perfect for the 3-inch stove pipe that I have for the stove. Um, and then it's pretty much ready for the first burn. All right, so this is going to be the first time this thing has ever had a fire in it. I'm going to let the paint and all the chemicals burn off of this thing. And then what we're going to do is put a high temp coat of paint on it. Well, obviously you guys just watched this thing burning outside the garage. The ultimate goal is to get it inside the garage. So what I did was I made this board and it has... It's part board and it's part sheet metal. It has a three inch hole for the pipe to go through. It's also, uh, the pipe is secured to the sheet metal with a band clamp, as you can see. And there's also a shroud above the pipe. Um, and I have a shroud on inside and the outside, which you can see that keeps the heat off of the window sill. There's two boards on the left and the right that are screwed to the OSB. And what that does is it keeps this board locked in the window so wind or thieves can't push it. Now the second part of this setup is the cap that I have outside. And basically what it does is it's a high wind um, cap and it prevents smoke from coming back out of the stove the wrong way. Um, and it's based off a design that I saw online of another stove cap that's supposed to be good for high wind. Before we paint, I want to show you guys, I did wire brush this thing. I added this top piece. Um, there's two holes in the door now, and then there's also a grate on the inside. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and get to that paint job. All righty, so the wood stove is all painted up. I'll show you guys around it here a little bit. There's the back, chimney. And that's kind of what it looks like. You can see it looks pretty freaking awesome. And then I've got these tools here that I made. Made a little shovel. I've got a poker here. And then, of course, the handle. Let me show you how it works. All right, so this is the little handle to pick it up. This thing is not light, so just kind of pick it up like that. Nice and easy. Alrighty, so it's the first official burn of the wood stove with the fresh paint on it.
That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description box below. There's going to be lots of other awesome videos down there that you guys are going to want to check out, and I'll catch you on the next video. So right now, you guys are seeing a stagnant image on the screen here, and this is kind of how I get my custom thumbnail. If you leave a stagnant image up for a minute or a minute and a half at the end of the video, um, usually YouTube will allow you to use this as a thumbnail. So I obviously don't have access to custom thumbnails and it sucks, so that's why I have to do this, but I guess it is what it is. So uh, a couple things I wanted to address um, while we're talking here for a minute. The cast iron clean out door. I'm sure a couple people are gonna be looking for one of these. The only place around me that had one in stock was Menards. And I was really kind of surprised that Menards would have something like this in stock because I called around to a lot of small like wood stove shops and they didn't have this fireplace clean out door, which really surprised me. You would think a small wood shop would have it and not Menards or a big box store. And by the way, I did check at Home Depot, Lowe's, um, Walmart, a lot of places. Again, you can get it like almost anywhere online, but when it comes to getting it same day in person at a store, Menards was the place that had it. So that's for the clean out door. There's something else I want to talk about. Oh yeah, the, the uh, microphone on my phone got wet. I was making a hot video and that's why it like cuts in and out and does weird things in this video. So hopefully you guys forgive me for that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Oh yeah, if you wanna see that Hawk video, I'll link it down in the description box below. And I'm running over my time limit. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.